Hey, everybody, welcome back to the show. It is always a pleasure to see our next guest. We're going to have to speed talk because he's got so much going on. <laughs> Unbelievable. He's starring in Little Me right now, which is the best musical you've never heard of. Never. Uh, that's the tagline. That's not my invention. And he's also uh, in a documentary television show. I mean, all kinds of stuff. David C. Jones. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello, David. Are you a little Hi. tired, David? I am, Tucker. You know what happened to me two days ago? It was crazy because I'm in this reality show where I'm having to, it's about me making a movie for Out TV. So I had to do the auditions for the movie, and that was from 9 to 1. I then had one hour to get across town because I teach at the Vancouver Film School, <laughs> taught from 2 to 5, and then I had one hour to get to CBC to, to do to do Little Me. And you're supposed to be filming yourself, yes. doing Yes, oh, I have my little diary you're doing camera. doing reality here, show. So here, because we'll David's so busy, we've got to do a little filming Wait, while yeah. we're doing so, our show. So shows. doing TV on TV, Hello. yeah, we're going to disappear. So this is uh, uh, Fiona and Mike from Urban Rush, and we're talking about The Bonus, which is the film that I am doing uh, for Out TV on I the TV show. I don't know where to look. I don't know where to look. I don't know where to look. Oh, no, I'm it is ready. Like well. So, <laughs> first of all, before we get to mm -hmm. more about the play, okay, yeah. tell us about what this camera is doing <laughs> and about the short film this is... that you're doing. Yes. On the reality so, show. This so, is your diary cam. Yes, so this is the diary cam. <laughs> what happens is once a week I go into studio uh, yeah. and they film me being mentored. Oh, that's, you, you get the idea. I'm going to turn this yeah. off. Okay. <laughs> so you mentor? Uh, I get mentored, you get mentored by. by uh, um, Does it hurt? It, <laughs> <laughs> only if. No. no. Oh. Careful. <laughs> Cut myself. So, yeah, they bring in different mentors. Uh, screamers like the producer of Stargate came in and talked uh, with us. Uh, there's four filmmakers Sean Holler, Steve Bernazzi, and this girl, Melissa Sky. Uh, I forgot her name. Good, otherwise you would have yeah. failed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then we do confessionals in the studio talking about the process and uh, me going, I'm so tired. So, uh, <laughs> we've known you for many years, and you've made films before and, and produced yeah. films, but uh, I, I was reading one of the articles before, and you said you were kind of self taught. So, yeah. what's this like for you? I mean, sort of. It's very helpful. It's incredibly helpful. Do you wish you did it a while ago? I love how, revel how much of a revelation this is. Learning from professionals is actually making me better. I know. Well, I also have learned I don't have to do everything. Right. I have a producer, Steven Sawchuk, who keeps doing stuff. And, I, and he goes, hey, we have a DP. It's like, wow. How wow. hard is that to learn? I mean, when you are a, a DIY filmmaker and you're, you're sort of used to doing everything yourself, how much of a challenge is it to sort of learn those little lessons that you can let stuff go? and? Well, it's tough because when because uh, I've done the editing, sound mixing on films that have played in festivals and stuff myself, and now when I give it to other people, it's you like, have to trust them. Mm, you have to. Mm -hmm. You're going to ruin it. You gotta let it go. <laughs> they don't. don't. They don't. But one it. did. One I'll never work with again. But uh, we won't name <laughs> yeah, names. No, now we not. have to talk about the play that you're doing, <laughs> Little yes. Me. And there's how many characters? Uh, I play seven different people. So uh, rather than getting you to go through the characters, just do the voices like the you did in the green room. So there's okay. seven characters. So, go. I'm noble. Eggleston, who is uh, 16 at the beginning of the play. Uh, I'm uh, Miss, uh, uh, Mr. Pinchley, and uh, I want you to come over here, Dimples. I want to kill you, not harm you. Are you talking to me? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a character. No, that's, I, that's, I'm talking to another character. That's not David improvising. Un veau de veau, the great French entertainer. I want to sing to you about love. Um, oh, God, who else do I play? I play uh, Schnitzler, uh, the great <laughs> German director who's made 12 rotten films in a row. Uh, I am Young Noble, his son. So it's like, did you know my father when he was the governor or the drunk? Because um, he has a horrible, the Noble has a horrible. You are downfall. basically also giving us the outline of this the entire play. Uh, and yeah. also Fred Potrine, who's like, hi, I'm Fred. I'm in the U.S. Army. I just got off the farm. So, so do you ever feel insane? I always feel insane. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you do this at the end of your day, like after casting, after casting for your film, after teaching and mentoring students at Vancouver Film School, you go and you play seven insane people on stage. It's, 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 I, I cry a lot. Yeah. I actually posted on, on my uh, uh, Facebook, I said, I'm going to talk to Fiona and Mike today, hopefully I don't cry when they say, what are you up to? What are you up to? <laughs> no, <don't. laughs> uh, yeah, so. So is this a musical as well? Yeah. Oh I, my I, God. I sing, I sing five songs. In those characters. Yeah, I have seven characters. Two of them don't sing. Uh, Thank God. I know that's what they Yeah, because those two, those two have no talent. <laughs> exactly. So, well, I don't know. A lot of the characters die. 
they, they keep getting <laughs> killed. So that's sort of the story. The little me actually refers to the woman. Mm -hmm. And it's her journey and all the men in her life that she marries and comes in contact with that evolve her into the woman Is this that kind she of is. a farce or, or is it a comedy? It's or, stupid. It's everything? It's, it's stupid. stupid. <laughs> it's stu uh, Neil Simon wrote it with Cy Coleman. And it was originally a vehicle for Sid Caesar. Which is weird, because it's a woman's show. It's about a woman, yeah. but it became a vehicle for a man. Uh, oh, yeah, there's uh, the pictures That's of David Caesar. David being crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in between. In Caesar. Caesar. And then it was remounted again in 1992 with Martin Short on Broadway, and he actually won a Tony Award for Best Actor. So here's hoping. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How much fun is it to do so? I mean, I look at all the stuff that you do, and, you know, if we go back your last year and your involvement with the Olympics and, yeah. and everything to do with that, uh, you're a guy who really... You don't seem to have a lot of fear to me, and I don't know whether that's accurate or not, but you well, seem willing to just kind of dive I'm, in. I'm immensely curious. I'm immensely curious, and, I, and my biggest thing, I was trying to describe it for my new website, uh, is if there's an audience, I want to figure out a way to entertain and challenge and provoke, but make them have a good time. And so anything that is related to that, I'm on. So when the Olympics called me four months before the Olympics and said, can you be the entertainment manager? I was like, I'm on it. And what did that mean to be the entertainment <laughs> right. manager of the Olympics? You're juggling David. everything. Well, my, my thing was to entertain, to help. You know how at the Olympics there were these security perimeters mm -hmm. and you had yeah. to walk like five miles to get to figure skating? I put all the entertainment that was along the way to entertain people while and they did it. And keep the smiles a, on their face. And because David, people you, your, your boss had a goal of how many? My <laughs> boss? I found out afterwards because I, when I, I hit the ground running, my boss had done a target goal before I even started working of having 20 entertainment acts at the nine different venues. And how many did you do? 108. And you didn't know about his goal of 12? Her, right. her goal. Her goal. Her goal, yeah. I didn't know that afterwards. Because I, I just went, oh, well, it would be good to put an entertainer here and here and here because that way they'll be entertained <laughs> the Next way. time, check Poison. the goal. <laughs> so uh, back to the, the documentary that you're involved in, yes. the reality show. Yes. Uh, are you actually making, like, is are you completing the film for yes. this? Yes. Uh, here, I'll just put it back What's on. the film about? Uh, the film, <laughs> the film is called The Bonus, uh, and it's about a, it's a short film about, uh, oh, uh, get me into shot there. Uh, the, oh, I'll get you into shot so you can just react nodding. Yeah, just right? cut him out. <laughs> we don't need him. The, the, the bonus is about a man, a short film about a man who gets look, passed over for a bonus, an incentive trip, uh, and so he plans a sexual rendezvous in the workplace with his boyfriend. Wow. And then as he sets it all up, he locks himself out of the room. So <laughs> <laughs> to get back in. Well, we're, we're wearing rubber pants. Doesn't that really happen to all of us in life? Oh, when you sneak into the workplace, yes. Okay, so, so. if you'd like to see, and that uh, the reality show is going to be airing when and where? Uh, the reality, here, I'll, just, I'll turn that off again. Uh, that'll be enough footage for them, I'm sure. Um, the, I don't know how to turn it off. Okay, we'll just, just leave, leave it. Just leave her going. There we go. Here, no, I'll, I'll That's okay, not a good go. shot. Know, <laughs> right up the skirt. There it goes. Perfect. Hi, I'm on Out TV. Is there anything that you would like to tell us, Fiona? There okay. we go. The show is called Hot Pink Shorts, which mm -hmm. is uh, four filmmakers from across Canada. Uh, four filmmakers from across Canada uh, were chosen. Uh, you might know Sean Holler uh, yeah, yeah. from uh, Don't Quit Your Gay Job. Nice. Um, nice. And there you go, now you can see. Uh, and so uh, the Hot Pink Shorts is a series of episodes, and it follows each director as they write, create, and direct uh, a short film, which uh, then we will have, and Out TV will have it. And uh, so it's tough because you have to make a film, but you also have to hit the TV schedule as well. <laughs> well, I hope I get a passing grade on my yeah. camera work. So I've got this art shot of you, and then me and Mike are on the monitor behind oh, us. Oh, fantastic. Something else. Oh. Yeah, so if you want to see David C. Jones and Little uh, Me, it's at the CBC Studio yeah. 700 uh, till May the 7th. Check out the website yeah. for more information. And David C. Jones' website uh, launched today. 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 Good job. Yeah. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks, man. We're going to take a break. And up next.